Okay, before you're done, um, it's helpful to understand what a plan region is. Um, so notice how when I made this window, it actually exists above, well, well, I mean, you should know what this means, but it actually exists above the cut plane. How many of you guys know what the typical floor plan cut elevation is? Four feet, right. So that means you measure four feet up from the wall to about here, and you cut the building horizontally like you're running it through a meat slicer. Okay, so those windows, for instance, up there, don't show up in a typical floor plan. I thought it was three feet. Um, it's a, I mean, the convention I'm used to is four, but you know, it might be different for other offices. I don't know. Um, as, a, as an uh, American Design Drafting Association standard, uh, they use four. So, um, so anyway, the, so the window here is it exists above the cut plane. So we have this thing called a plan region that allows us to see above the cut plane in specific instances. So um, let's say I need to show this here, but everything else I want to keep it at four, four feet. Um, I go to view. And forgive me, I always forget where this is. I think it's in view. There we go. Plan views. And then go to um, plan region. So this basically allows you to draw a box. And I'm going to draw just a big box along this whole wall, just like this, guys. OK, pay attention. Um, so draw a box like that and then hit check. So what this is going to allow us to do is in that region and in that region only, I can change what the depth of my view is. So um, with it selected, you can go to view range. And this gets a little confusing to new time users, new time users, new users. Um, basically what this, what the primary range is telling you is um, what the bottom is. So like as I'm looking down into my plan, uh, what is what is the bottom object I can see? So if this tabletop is my second floor, when I type in zero of level two, that means I can't see anything below it. So my briefcase here sitting on the floor, I won't see it, okay? Um, so the cut plane being four feet, it means that four feet above that is where the cut is. And then the top is um, basically anything that uh, that is above that, it can be projected into the view, okay? So um, the cut plane here, I'm going to change that to six feet, six inches. And then that allows me to see that window. This is from beginning to the end of the view, because I missed the first part. Uh, sure. And you have that part. It's going to view, you want to view, right? Yeah, go to view, plan views, plan region. That's it. And then you just draw the box, and then you can edit it. Okay, so anyway, that allows you to, um, as you're working on these things, if you want to work in floor plan view rather than in 3D or something like that, you can do that. So now my next window, I need um, the same version as this, but I need it as a 36 inch wide. So I can pull that over. I'm going to copy this. I'm going to say edit type, duplicate, and I'm going to change the width to 36 inches. Oh, I already have one of those. Okay. 36 by 24. There we go. Um, and I'm going to kind of yank that back a little bit like that. And there's my second window. All right. Um, what questions do you have? No questions. I got an unrelated question. Yeah. What's the Even them out? Yeah. What do you mean by that? I think it's like TL or something. Double T? Oh, thin them out. TL makes them thin? No, no, no. Then two, um, just divide because I have a three windows to divide things evenly. Double T? Try double T. Oh, wind. Oh, you mean views. Oh, like yeah. View windows. windows. Oh, oh. Also yeah. W T is to tile. Yeah. Thank yeah. you. Okay. Um, okay, so uh, just another quick thing, guys, on these windows. Uh, the cool thing about these out-of-the-box windows is they actually will kind of join together. It's a neat little feature. So if you select a fixed window and you move it from that point to this point, you'll see that those mullions actually join. So that's how you get that nifty little one-window effect.
Okay. So um, basically, I'd like you guys to get to the point where you have both of these windows set up. Uh, real quick in plan, I forget which direction they were facing, but um, so we had the operable side on the inside. Oh, good point. I want to show you guys something. Um, so since we need to flip this thing, you can flip them both, but you need to make sure that when you um, select them, the two of them, we can use a mirror command. Actually, you know, what? I'll show you in a different video. I think it's worth using a separate video for this.